This is Patrick Smith's first chance to lock up a championship in the 1UP Nitro National Series. We're at race 24 of 25, the penultimate race of the season, and we're here at the Rockingham Speedway in North Carolina for 79 laps of heart-pounding Nitro National Racing action. And knowing how the season's gone so far, I'm sure it'll not fail to exceed our expectations, because these are going to be some very tense moments for everybody still in the hunt for the championship. Alongside me in the booth for today's race is Duke Ansack once again, and this race, just like much like it was last night, going to be a lot of stories to focus on, namely the championship battle. Patrick Smith, he's got the best possible starting spot for today's race, but we saw in the race last night, pole position isn't always where you want to be, so... Patrick Smith's got to keep his wits about him, maintain a solid points lead, and go into Homestead with a chance. Yep, you're absolutely right, and that's uh, that's got to be the main strategy today for Patrick Smith is to got to just stay uh, near the front, stay in that top five. Alexa Lushan is a dangerous competitor. Uh, that 50 car is just absolutely uh, s- somebody that needs to be uh, uh, looked out for. You know, uh, on the track, only 11 points behind going into this race today here at Rockingham. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I, that is not a very comfortable gap. If I'm uh, Patrick Smith and that 04 team right now, I'm feeling a little bit worried about that 50 uh, sitting there 11 points back. Of course, uh, she's not starting great. She's starting all the way back in 25th today, but we have seen people come up through the pack. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be a little bit of strategy involved in this race. So I think that that's going to be a big thing. And keep in mind as well, if Smith has a bad day, Michaels could come become involved in this. Alex Rajeparu be, could c- become involved. Caggiano, um, and even as far back as Autumn Koger uh, and and Young and Terzic back there, I think that uh, those guys all could possibly become involved in this championship if uh, Smith and Lushan have a bad day. So we'll see what happens uh, at the end of this race. We'll see how it goes. But a lot of people to look out for. You got to look out for those blue spoilers today. Uh, to see who's having a good day and who isn't. But it's going to be a fun, fun race here at Rockingham. It never disappoints. Looking now at the starting lineup for today's 79-lap race, Patrick Smith, as we said, gets pole position here at the Rock. He lines up alongside Alex Vergeperub in second. Zachary Delello, though he's got a long shot for the championship, starts third, looking for his first career win. Could it come here today? Autumn Koger lines up four for Elijah Ironhouse, not a playoff contender, rounds out the top five. Alongside last week's winner, Dylan Young, in sixth. And honestly, we've got, Patrick Smith's got to be the focus of the day, but there's a lot of other stories to focus on, too. Who's going to get as high up in the points as they can? Can we see a first-time winner in this race? We've got a lot of guys looking for that first career win that could come here today. And considering what happened last night, it's a very real possibility. You're absolutely right. A, a bunch of people sitting up here that have a good shot at it. And of course, today's going to come down to a uh, lo- long run speed possibly. And, uh, and, and who has the best strategy, who has the best pit crew? Um, you know, it, it isn't always strategy. You can pit on the same lap as somebody and still end up either ahead of, ahead of them or behind them, depending on how your and their pit crew does. So, uh, this is going to be a really fascinating race. A lot of different angles to watch it from uh, strategy, speed, tire saving, and uh, of course the championship fight as well. So I'm excited to try to break it all down for you and uh, enjoy watching it with you. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And these Nitro National Series drivers uh, rarely uh, put on a, a snooze show. So <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun and, I, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So with that being said, all the cars are lined up on the grid, and we're ready to bring you some hard racing from Rockingham Speedway. 79 laps of it. This is the 1UP Nitro National Series from Rockingham Speedway, and the green flag is mere moments away, so stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss any of the racing sets take place over the next 79 laps. Getting ready to rock and roll here at The Rock. It's Patrick Smith on pole. Alex Rajeparub alongside. Green flag is out. We're underway at Rockingham for 79 laps. And and Eric Monaco pulled out to the outside just a little bit at the start. He tucks back in line. And now it's Patrick Smith oh. and Zachary Dolello side by side coming off of turn two for the first time. Wow, the, uh, the, the, the pole sitter right there slid up the track and uh, almost let... Uh, let the 03 in on the bottom, but it wasn't enough. And now we've got Elijah Ironhouse down there uh, on the bottom lane trying to make a move for second place, but it won't be enough to get ahead. And uh, Patrick Smith in the 04 
is going to lead that first lap. So they're ripping around the middle lane here in the early stages of this thing on lap two. Uh, with those fresh tires, you got plenty of grip, so you can uh, really get the grip up through the corner and pull through and get the throttle down and do everything you want to do here. It's going to change real quick. But for now, uh, Patrick Smith leading the way and uh, really gripping good in the middle lane of this track. And keep in mind, every for that lap leg Patrick Smith got at the end of lap one, that's a bonus point, and he needs as many of those as he can get. Because Patrick Smith chasing the championship, remember? So every point is valuable. He got one right there, and no one can take that off him now. But he's going to face some pressure, I imagine, from Dolello and from Ironhouse with complete lap number three. Smith still has the lead, but it hasn't grown that much over Dolello and Ironhouse, and even Justin Hutchinson, who's moved up into the fourth spot. So at this point in time, everybody's pretty close, and you see Elijah Ironhouse will a lap two tenths faster than anybody else. That eight cars flying is tucked up right behind the, the battling pair for the lead of Smith and Dolello. Yeah, a little bit worried about that eight car, uh, possibly uh, burning up those tires early in this run. We'll see how that plays out towards the end of this run when they have to make a pit stop. But uh, <clears throat> otherwise than that, uh, these guys up front are really looking good so far. I mean, they're just uh, kind of minding their own business at the moment. We got the 11 coming in on this battle as well. I thought that Alex Fajeparub was going to probably stick around towards the front, especially with how fast his teammate is. He's fallen all the way down to seventh place early in this one. So... We'll see how everything plays out here at Rockingham. We've got plenty of racing left, of course. But, yeah, Patrick Smith with that extra bonus point is going to be uh, that's a huge advantage to him in this uh, championship fight we've got here. And, of course, Alexa Lushan is still fighting to try to get back up through the pack after a poor starting position. So we're watching all these guys come down the front straightaway uh, and, and really taking this race by a storm so far as Patrick Smith, who's still leading the way uh, after sitting on the pole. Uh, it's here on lap seven. So Dolello now, he's got to got to focus here. He's got to try and chase down the 04 because he's not really thinking championship anymore. He, even though he's entered this race with a slim chance, he's got to he's he he can't really worry about that. He's prop he's probably a, quite a ways ba he's quite a ways back entering this race. And with Patrick Smith running as well as he is, he's probably going to be locked out of the championship going into Homestead. So what he needs to do now is go on to attack. Focus on Patrick Smith, trying to get around him, trying to get that first career win because it's been coming for so long, just like Kev Shearer in the Truck Series. Zachary DeLello has been aching for a win, and he knows he's got a good chance at it today. We're on lap number nine now, and DeLello right on the back bumper of the O4. Yeah, he's got to get a good chop on the exit of the corner. So the, the strategy here is you want to try to run a little bit higher in the corner. We'll see if he does it here. No, they both go way low. Um, but you want to try to chop low off the exit of the corner, straighten out uh, the exit so you can get the power down quicker. Uh, it's a little bit tougher when, when everybody has a lot of grip early in the run, but we're starting to see those tires fade just a little bit, so we'll see if that strategy comes into play soon here at Rockingham, but that's the way to go. It, it, it takes more than just one corner to make the pass here. Uh, you need uh, almost the whole lap to do it. Looking at the back end of the field, you see Nicky Martinez struggling along in 41st place. This is a bit of an alarming situation for the Kings Motorsports Group. And Martinez, who had a strong run at Texas World Speedway last time out, but now they're struggling a little bit as Dolello moves up the racetrack, gives a, gives a sniff to Elijah Ironhouse to try and get that spot. Now Hutchinson dives to the bottom of the racetrack trying to take that position away, and that might have just saved Zachary Dolello from losing second. Boy, that was really fascinating to see that because... Uh, Delello was completely side by side with Elijah Ironhouse and then got a great run off the outside lane and then the 11 came in there and, and I'm not sure if it's true but al almost made contact with that 8 car uh, regardless the 8 car went up the track and is losing positions now uh, while the 11 moves up into third place so that was a that was a, a, an exciting sequence of events right there that just happened but Delello remains in second place Patrick Smith remains the leader um, and all else everybody else has survived that occasion and uh, continued rolling here at the rock and now we might see a move for the lead coming soon Dolello has gotten right to the back of the 04 he moves, the, the he moves him up the racetrack a little bit and that could give Zachary Dolello the lead it is giving Zachary Dolello the lead Dolello leads at Rockingham takes the lead on lap number 13 
now he's gonna try and set sail in this race. He's wants that win so bad, and it, I, mean, I know there's still a lot of racing to go, but he's in a very good position as they run right now. Yeah, that was a great move to get the lead right there, the 03. Now sitting in clean air with some good downforce on that uh, on that front spoiler or front splitter. Really good uh, situation for Zachary Delello, who's probably feeling really great after making that move. It was a double move uh, that we saw from not only second place, but we saw it from fourth place moving into third place. That 92 car uh, a little bit farther back of Dylan Young. That is going to be uh, that, uh, also another great move in this race and possibly could come into play with Dylan Young having a shot at Patrick Smith, who's now trying to relearn how this car handles in some dirty air behind uh, who is now the leader, Zachary Galella. And remember, Dylan Young won last time out at Texas World on another abrasive track. So Dylan Young knows how to handle his tires, and this is a bit perfect track for him to showcase that. But he's running in third right now. Delello holds the lead. Coming off a turn four to complete line number 16, Delello holds the lead. And it's starting to grow a little bit over Patrick Smith. It's now four tenths of a second. Yeah, something that we we see typically here um, is when when you've got a guy that's right up on somebody's bumper, uh, not able to pass because of whatever whatever reason. It's pretty tough to pass in comparison to uh, if you were just uh, catching somebody. But you ride right up on their bumper for a ton of laps, and then once you finally get by, uh, it's see you later. And that's what's happened here for the O3. Uh, who has taken the lead and started to drive away from the rest of the field. But for Patrick Smith, this is a pretty good day regardless. 46 points in the bank already, and he can afford that. He can afford to just sit here and let Zachary Delella celebrate in victory lane because Patrick Smith, he's got to think big picture. He's got to think about the points. He's got to think about the championship. He knows Alexa Lushan's having a bad day. You can see Joshua Michaels lurking back there in ninth, but he's still going to outscore the 18. So at this point, just let the 3 go and maybe try and hold off the 92 if you really think you need to, but Patrick Smith having a solid day regardless if he's leading or not. Yep, and a solid day is really all you need from that 4 car uh, here to have a good shot at winning the championship next week. Of course, we don't think this week will be the clinching week unless something happens to Alexa Lushan and possibly uh, Michaels and... Alex Rajeparub as well, but uh, you know if you're if you're sitting there in this 04, you want to give yourself as much of a cushion as you can and points going into the next race. So uh, sitting here in, in second place right now could possibly become third. It could possibly become fourth even, uh, and you're still looking good. So uh, solid solid run right now for Patrick Smith, uh, which is exactly what you need. Executing well today. Execution. That's the key of this. That's the key word in this race for Patrick Smith. And he's doing it so far, even if he's half a second back. And we're looking at the back of the field now. You can see Kyle Corbett's another one struggling mightily in this race. He's now back in 41st, battling Hayes Green for that position. Corbett, the far and away the worst of the playoff drivers in this race, he's down there in the very back of the field. Hoping some, something good can come out of this race. We still have about just over 50 to go. But at any rate, he is begging for something drastic to come for his way as Delello continues to lead. Yeah, that's a really tough situation for Kyle Corbett. Already uh, com comes into this race 68 points out of the lead of the championship. Not a huge chance to really get back into it here. Um, and then just a bad day on top of it. That's that's pretty tough for that team. But uh, we're watching our leader here in the 03 starting to drive away. And, and, you know, Patrick Smith is driving away a little bit as well. And we've got Alex Fergeparu, who has done a nice job of saving tires through the first 22 laps of this race uh, and is coming up through the pack here. Of course, he's going to get crossed over now by the 92. They're side by side down the front straightaway. And I think that he might... Uh, we'll see. He might lose that position. No, he's going to keep it on the outside. Really nice run into the corner there from the three car. But, yeah, he's done a nice job saving his tires here. That's exactly what you need uh, if you're going to come back from 29 points back uh, in this race on the guy that's ahead of you. So uh, you need to get everything you can. And right now is a good time to start moving that three car on the move towards the front. And meanwhile, the 92 losing yet another position from the 19 now uh, who's going to the bottom here and uh, is going to possibly take that position. Looks like she will uh, take third position away. Uh, not quite, not clear yet. Still ahead by just a nose. 
And these two are going Superstar Series racing next year. So one of the last opportunities we'll get to see these two racing together on a Saturday. But we're going to see plenty of them next year, I'm sure, on Sunday racing as well. But now Patrick Smith starting to gain some ground on Zachary DeLello again. On lap 26, he cut the gap down by about half. So DeLello, not as secure out front as he once was. And as you can see, the pack very much spread out at this point. The top 10 separated by about three and a half oh. seconds. But Alex Vergeperub, he's gained, and you're right. I think he's done the best job saving tires of any of these guys. He is absolutely flying around this track. I, I, I'm, I'm just surprised at how fast that car is right now in this race. Just a, a stellar job that that driver has done uh, saving those tires towards the end of the run. But we'll have to see. He's got two passes to make if he wants to take the lead here. Uh, but uh, taking the lead and getting that that uh, lap lead point is going to be absolutely huge for the three car uh, fighting a tight tight race in the championship here so it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out for the rest of this run and when people start to make their pit stops if anybody uh, does a short pit if anybody does uh, does try to do an overcut by staying out uh, later than everybody else we'll see what happens here there's a couple strategies uh, in last night's truck race that that might play in here uh, with a similar uh, pit strategy situation. But keep in mind, this race takes place during the heat of day, as opposed to the cool of night for the truck series. So with these guys now, as we look back now, as a Kings Motorsports squabble for, it looks like the ninth position, Tescar, Michaels, and Ryan Caggiano and hit in the penultimate race of his career, they're battling it out. But the track temperature could make a difference in this yep. race as well for it because the tires wear a lot more on a, on a hot track than a cold track so that could be a factor as we look at ryan Caggiano on a score of toyotas battling for lower places in the top 10 wouldn't it be something to see him have a great day in his final few races yeah that, that would be great and we've got a change for position here in second place as alex for jeparub has taken that position away from patrick smith who's now down to third place and the 19 has come to party uh, with these guys who are running in the top three. Now the top four are all racing together right here. And uh, that 19 of Autumn Koger really uh, also has saved tires quite well in this first stint of the race and has come to play in this top four here. So we'll see what happens if the three car can get to uh, the 03 car who's leading the race. Uh, and they're both ahead of that 04. So we got a, a bunch of threes and, and, and a four here. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here and who is going to pit first. That's what I'm most curious about at this point in the race. Who will make that first pit stop? I think whoever does it is going to have a big advantage in the second half of the race. And it's always good to see one of each manufacturer in the top four as well. That's yeah. always good to see. And we've got that right now. A Toyota, a Chevrolet, a Dodge, and a Ford in that order in the top four. So very nice to see that as Dolello continues to lead here at Rockingham. Dolello doing a very nice job out in front. This is a, he's going to close in on le leading the most laps he's ever led in a Nitro National Series race. His previous best was, I believe, nine, which he did at the Denver Road Course from pole position. However, he's he's surpassing that now with some very good laps. But Alistair Jepperub is closing right up on him. So it might be a matter, not not be a matter of if the three gets past, it might be a matter of when. Yeah, and you know, I'll tell you what, this three car is not only thinking about uh, that one point for leading a lap, he's thinking about possibly leading the most laps in this race. There's still, it's still mathematically possible if he were to lead all the laps from this point on, uh, he would have uh, the most laps led in this race, and he's still got a few laps where that is mathematically possible. So I think that he's definitely thinking about that right now. Uh, because he needs as many points as he can get if he's going to have any chance next week of beating that 04 car. We'll see what he does in turn one. He's so close. He's right on the bumper of the 03 car, Zachary Delello. We'll see what happens uh, coming down the back straightaway. And, and if he's able to make that pass before lap, what, 38 is when he's going to need it? Well, he, oh, I, it's going to be. Oh, and Delello gets right moved now. up the racetrack. This could be Alex's chance. Coming out for turn four? No, not quite. I think the L3 is going to stay ahead this time. But run. this is going to be that point in time in the race where the tires hit that cliff. And they're going to lose so much performance so quickly. You can see how slow they're going around this one-mile racetrack. They're about four seconds off the pace than what they started the race with. 
So that you can see how it's like they're racing in slow motion almost. But <laughs> and now, there now, uh -oh. Alec, oh, but he has to back out of it once again. Dolello keeps the place. Yeah. So I had forgotten that the 04 uh, led some of this race as well. Oh, and we, uh -oh. Got a, we got one in the pit, the 54. And on Key and Rivers, this is another hard luck story this season. He's had. He's had some promising runs, but he's fallen out of the top 30 in owner's points lately, and this is not going to help him with that. Tough situation for the 54, but we expect he'll be back stronger than ever next year. But we make our way back to the front of the field. Delello and Alex, they continue to run 1-2. And pit stops, fast approaching. Who's going to be the first to blink? I don't know. I, I, I would I would hope that it's uh, Alex Rochepereau because he's driving my car. I think that that is probably the best strategy to pit as soon as you can. But uh, you don't want to pit quite yet. We're not. We're just barely at halfway right now. Man, the 03 is blocking the bottom so hard right now. And Alex is just barely staying off his bumper. He's going to get low. This he's time, th this, this time he's staying side by side with the 03. Yep. This could be the move right here. Yeah, this is it right now. So he goes, dives into the first corner, but the 03 is going to have a great... No, he's not. He's going to get tight. He had to stay in the clean part of the track, and Alex for Rube in the nick of time has taken the lead and is now going to try to gain some points for leading some laps in this race uh, and and possibly have a shot at getting some more bonus points. Uh, we'll see. He's taking control of this race, and he is driving away. He's already four or five car lengths ahead of the 03 just after passing him in that first corner. So this is a this is a, this is a, a total change of pace in this one right now that we've seen uh, from Alex Rajeparu. And he's starting to pull away already. He's already got a half-second lead over Zachary DeLillo. Now we're at the point we've passed halfway. You can come in now and, and make it to the end of the race. It'll be a bit tight, but I think you can do it. And we might see a few guys try it. I don't, we're not seeing any of the leaders try it currently. But how about Kale Tescar Jr.? He has a, he's a, got a strong car. He's up in the fifth. Strong run for that 02 car after a strong round in the truck race last night. He's trying for a double. There's Rivers exiting the pits. So we'll see if anybody joins him there in a few moments time but for now alex has a pretty solid lead at the moment yeah alex is just only pulling away and me I, I didn't even realize while those two were battling they were driving away from everybody else they're two and a half seconds ahead of third place who is patrick smith oh, oh my patrick smith has, pit, has pitted patrick yep smith we've, an we've answered that point. question who's gonna blink first it's patrick oh, smith my. and autumn koger they are the first ones to pit among the leaders, they're going to have a lot of lap time to gain. Michaels also critically pits, along with Ryan Arnold, AJ oh, Jones, oh. and much of the back end of the field coming in the pit now. And here comes Delello into the pits, but Alex is staying out oh. another lap. I, uh, I don't know about this, guys. It's uh, it's it's. Uh, I think that the first guys to pit here, Patrick Smith, has made an excellent decision of being the first one on pit lane. And uh, Alex Fergeparub out there right now is just losing a ton of time. He's not going to have the tires to be able to gain. That's what we saw in the truck race last night, at least. He's going to have a little bit more time than those guys did. And he's going to pit right here two laps after the first group. So we'll see. He's going to have to contend with some people coming out of the pits. And there's Ryan uh, Caggiano. He also stayed out with Alex Fergeparub. Mm -hmm. Sam Denoto in the double zero. And there Ooh. is Patrick Smith and Autumn Koger. Wow. They're, they're running light years faster than everybody else. We'll see what this gives them. They're, it's probably going to get them the lead of this race. I'd say so. We're going to have to see where that 03 comes out to really judge where they are. And it looks like uh, looks like the 03 isn't even involved in this yet. I can't tell right now. No. Yeah. So it looks like Patrick Smith's going to have a handy lead over Autumn Koger. But this is something we didn't see much of in the truck race. Lap traffic coming into play. And you see now, Zachary Delello is not even in the picture anymore. Something must have happened in the pit lane to that 03 car to slow him down a little ways. But looking now to find him on the racetrack is that, that 03 car on this racetrack. There he is. He's running. He'll be a net 12th when this hmm. all cycles through, and I think it was just a slow stop that did him in. You said this at the top of the show. You got to have your pit crew shine at this moment of the race. And it wasn't that time for Zachary Delello. So, unfortunate situation, but he's got a lot of time to bounce back. Yeah, and, and if you look at the leaderboard right now, uh, well, it's, this is unfortunate for Zachary Delello. We'll see what he's able to do 
Um, he was he was one of the fastest cars on the long run, despite being chased down by the three car. He was one of the fastest too. So, um, meanwhile, we're looking at that three in fifth place. He has lost four positions and, and more than six seconds uh, he, is how much he's lost to the 19 car, who has now taken the lead away from Patrick Smith. So that is, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that strategy call. We'll see if the three car is able to make up all that time. I'm not sure if it'll happen though. Uh, Patrick Smith looking really, really good in this race now to gain a plenty of time or, or plenty of points in this championship battle. And right now is battling amongst some lap traffic with the 19 for the lead. Yeah, there are a lot of lap cars among them. Oh, and Smith puts wow. the bumper to the back of the 19 and three and four. That I'm not. I, that might have slowed down the four more than it's you know, four more than it slowed down the 19. As AF Walsh in the 42 gets a gets around the 04 Smith to unlap himself that way. He's still got to get by the 19 to unlap himself completely. But she is now focused on the 59 of Holloman and the 98 of Alvarez just in front, ready to go a lap down. So we haven't really mentioned it, but Autumn Koger started this race minus 38 points out of the lead uh, behind Patrick Smith in this one. So uh, leading a lot of laps here and uh, and, and possibly getting uh, getting a win and, and gaining some points will be beneficial for Autumn Koger and that 19 crew because they uh, absolutely have a situation where they could be a little bit of a contender next week if something were to happen to that 04. Um, and... And that, you know, that's just even more reason to want to go and win this race. Of course, everybody's out here trying to win races and trying to gain points and, 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 and collect trophies, of course. But right now, it's, it's a little bit more for that 19 doing a great job today of leading this race and staying ahead of that 04, Patrick Smith. And remind me again, what was Alex Fajepurb's gap behind these guys as soon as the pit stop cycle? Six seconds. He's already yeah. cut. He's that already is. cut that, cut a second out of that lead. So that's true. That's I true. think Alex Fajepurb is going to be plenty fine at the rate he's going, but there's still plenty of time left between now and the check. As you see, Kenneth Grant had a bit of an issue on pit road. He is now five laps down in that 53 car for his own race team, but. Focus now back on the front of the field. Autumn Coker started to pull away from Patrick Smith in quite a big way. She now holds a... Pr it w was six-tenths of a second at the line, and it's pretty much stabilized there. And now she has a lap car in between the two, and that's always a welcome sight. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I think that part of why all those guys farther in the back, uh, and by farther in the back, I mean third through sixth, uh, they, they are starting to gain a little bit because of these lap cars that... Autumn Koger is sitting here in dirty air with, with cars that are o only a little bit slower. Uh, uh, you know, they're going about 90% of the speed that this 19 car has right now. So it's it's not slow enough that it's easy, an easy pass for the 19, but, uh, you know, just fast enough that it, or just slow enough that it's able to kind of slow her down a little bit. And same deal with the 04. So here's a move from the 19 to get side by side with the 98 uh, uh, down the front straightaway. So we'll see. If this move pays off, it looks like it might in the turn one. Uh, maybe not with that outside lane. No, it's definitely going to pay off coming out of the corner. The 98 did not get through the center very well. So now Autumn Koger uh, has put two cars between herself and second place in this race. And that's going to be really good advantage right here and, and possibly will gain her some time on everybody else who's starting to gain uh, farther back in the pack. So now, once again, there's only one lap car between Koger and Smith, now that Smith's gotten around the 98 as well. So, the rate they're going right now, Kale Tescar Jr. is 4.6 seconds back. He's probably not going to gain that much more on these guys. Just remember, Tescar's got to get around the same lap cars that these two had to navigate at some point in this race. So, we're closing in, uh, we got 25 laps to go now, 24 now. And Koger and Smith are in very good positions. If Smith can get around this lap cap, there you see Tescar in the blue and white car in the back of your shot. He's quite a ways behind. But if Koger can maintain the lap car gap between himself and and Koger, that 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 could be on Koger's shot at winning this race. And you, now you see the fastest car in the racetrack, not the 02 of Kale Tesker Jr., but the 53 of Kenneth Grant, who's five <laughs> laps down, but he's got that much fresher tires than everybody else, and he's clicking off some fast ones. He's probably going to be able to unlap himself at least once. 
Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. We can Grant right there. So we'll see how that plays out in this race. And I'll tell you what, the 19 has just been working her way through traffic very methodically, one by one, just getting the getting the best position on them, and is really pulling away from that 04 by doing so. Uh, even despite being stuck in traffic like this, it, it, it really is working out. She's passed a bunch of cars, uh, which is not something we always see with the lap traffic, especially when they're comparable in speed like this, and you really have to be careful coming out of the corner <laughs> sometimes when you almost go three wide uh, with the lappers. But look at that, another one on the outside now, and, and with that bottom lane, you're going to get them really rotate well through the corner. It's not going to work this time for the 19, but... Uh, definitely have that option so really good job from autumn Coger getting through the pack very well uh, and then possibly the, the reward of that is ahead of these two lap cars right here a ton of clean air ahead so that's going to be a big big advantage for the 19 if she can get there and and start to drive away from the 04 and all these lappers 20 laps to go from rockingham can autumn Coger hold on is the question She's got a very fast 42 car behind her, and that, if, if he can unlap himself, he, he will take every opportunity to do so. But Patrick Smith, he's gained a lot of time on that last lap, as a matter of fact. He chopped about a half a second out of that gap, and another half a tenth on that lap. So Patrick Smith's doing what he needs to do. The question is, is he going to have enough laps to get there? And something else to watch is that... Uh... Kale Tescar Jr. and Alex Forget Baru, but the two mouthfuls of the field, uh, really ha have started to gain some time. Uh, they're down to 4.2 seconds back and 4.5 seconds back, respectively. I'm not sure if there's enough time for them to play any part in this race uh, for the win, but if, if they continue to gain at the rate they were, which they aren't right now, uh, then they would possibly have a shot at this thing. Uh, right now, though, they've started to fall back again, so uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to become part of this thing. But Autumn Coger looking really good right now. And she continues to have a 9 tenths of a second lead over Patrick Smith. That is what she wants to see. And it's now grown to a full second again. So Coger is just happy to ride between the 51 and the 42. And, and as long as that 42 stays behind Coger, I don't think Patrick Smith can get there. No, I, I agree with that. I think this 42 is just about as fast as the 19 right now, as, as you know, despite the fact that they're on opposite ends of the field right now. Um, and I think that that is just going to prove very difficult for Patrick Smith, who can't even catch these two, um, much less mount a charge to try to pass them. Possibly it's time to just start saving those tires and make sure you can hold on to second place for the 04 because those uh, the 02 and the 3 car are charging once again back there. I believe that they're in clean air if I'm not mistaken uh, but they are uh, uh, they are on the move here in this uh, later part of the race so Patrick Smith has some, has some uh, points to protect in second place. 15 laps to go. Can Autumn Koger maintain the difference? You see Kenneth Grant. He's caught Patrick Smith now. He's, huh. he's going to be able to unlap himself pretty shortly if, at the rate he's going and that could prove to be a bit of a dangerous situation for both of the, both of the leaders uh, actually depending on how quickly he does that. But we got 14 to go now from The Rock, and Koger doing a pretty strong job. Her gap's shrunk in a little bit, down to 8 tenths of a second. But that's plenty for at this rate. So Smith's just got to try and... He doesn't need to win this race, but remember, a win is worth five more points in second. And Patrick Smith would love as many points as he can going into Homestead. Yeah, and you know, somebody that we have not seen anything of today is Alexa Lushan, unfortunately for her. She just has not been able to find it today, um, despite uh, despite having a, having a good car all season, just a bad starting position. Not enough uh, today, so th that 11-point uh, deficit that she started this race with will likely uh, increase for her, and it'll probably be, uh, well, Michael's... Uh, it's going to be next in line. And then, of course, Alex Rajeparub has been running well and just has taken away third place. So we'll see what this 53 does with the 19. Hopefully just here, Autumn Coger, just let him by here. I think uh, he's significantly faster. But uh, if, if you don't, you might get wrecked. I, I hope that that doesn't happen. But we'll have to see. You just got to be careful. Don't get wrecked by a lapper, man. Oh, man. You got to be careful right there. But let's let's him by and just going to continue to race another day. Man, oh, man. Was it close? 
11 laps remaining here at Rockingham. And Patrick Smith closed that gap down to about yep. six tenths of a second. I think that 42 is going to get a little racy here in the closing stages. And that could be very detrimental to Autumn Koger. And yep, Koger, Koger gets tight in the middle of three and four. That allows Walsh to get past. Oh, and now there are no cars separating Koger from Patrick Smith in second. The gap now to under half a second. Yeah, so there were just a couple of things that needed to happen for this to become a real race for the win. And all of them just happened in the past couple of laps. Autumn Koger got stuck on the outside, got those got those tires a little bit dirty, had to uh, got a little bit loose, let that 42 by uh, uh, unwillingly, of course. But now uh, the next car behind her is the next challenger on the track, the 04. So we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, uh, farther back in the pack, I've, I've been just keeping an eye on that three car, and he is down to three seconds now. Remember those faster tires, still a little bit of time left in this race, or the newer tires at least, a little bit of time left in this race, possibly could mount a charge, depending on if these two get racy. I'm not sure what will happen here, but that's something to keep an eye on, uh, definitely through the last few laps of this race. But Autumn Koger still maintaining that gap, of about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 over uh, over that 04 car. So we'll see what happens. Coming off a of turn two, Patrick Smith. Oh, we got a smoker, and that's Hayes Green uh -oh. in the 51. That could have been costly wow. for, wow, that was great avoidance from Autumn Coker and Patrick Smith. In, oh, but if oh, Alex no. Roger, oh, Alex Roger, he barely sneaks by, and here comes Kale Tesco Jr. Oh, and they make contact. Uh-oh. And hey, uh oh and, that's going to cost, oh, jeez, everybody's piling in now it's it looks like we're okay no fluid on the track no yellow no yellow we're staying green but for kale tescar jr that was some costly contact it dropped him from fourth all the way back to seventh he it hopefully he doesn't have the pit to fix anything because that would ruin his race and what a good race he ran as well but we'll see he does it doesn't look like he's going to come in he it, damage might be minimal enough so we've got now Four, six laps to go in this race, and the gap is gone between Autumn Coger and Patrick Smith after that blown engine really threw a wrench into this race. Patrick Smith is right there. This could be a real race on our hands now. Yeah, if they start getting racy like they're about to with Patrick Smith looking on the bottom, don't look now, but there's just a few laps left in this race, and the three car is gaining fast, even after having to avoid the, the slow car who had smoke now down to just over one second behind these guys with those two lap pressure tires has been on an absolute rampage in the last few laps of this race. So we'll see what happens. This could be a three horse battle uh, very, very soon right now. In fact, at the end of this lap, it will be Alex for Shep Rube. Looks like he's been launched out of a cannon. This is absolutely incredible. Watching this three car lap around this track like two tenths with second and a half faster than everybody else. It's crazy. And remember, he his tires might not hit that cliff either that Coger yeah. and Smith might hit. So this could be very good for this three car if he can hang on. But the problem is for him, Patrick Smith's holding him up in quite a big way right now. He needs to get by this 04 in a big hurry if he's going to have any hope wow. of catching Autumn Coger as we come to three laps to go now. Yeah, that 04 is just holding him down to the bottom lane. I mean, just an incredible defensive move right here from the 04. I mean... You got to keep your championship contenders behind you right here. That's just an amazing job. And the three car just can't do anything about it. It's allowing the 19 to drive away with this one. Autumn Coger could not have dreamed up a better situation right now. Now Alex Rajeparub has gone to the outside lane for second place. But Autumn Coger continues as the leader right now while they battle it out. Two laps to go, and I think Patrick Smith's trying to pinch the three up to the top, and Alex Rajepru doesn't seem to mind that very much, because he's going to go around the outside of Patrick Smith for second spot. Now, Alex Rajepru's going to have one lap, and one lap only, to erase a second's deficit. Boy, oh boy, and I'm not sure if uh, Alex Rajeparub is going to be all too happy with Patrick Smith. After that one, we got a crash on pit road. It looked like a crash ahead of the leaders. I'm not sure what's going on. That was Glenn Mixon in the pit lane who hit the retaining wall in the pit lane. We've got one lap to go. It's not going to impact the race out front. Autumn Coger 
down the back straightaway for the final time. Alex is going to have one chance in the three and four. He's going to have to send it in deep. He does send it in deep. It's not going to be enough, though, through three and four for the final time. Autumn Koger gets another one. She does it at Rockingham. Autumn Koger takes it at the Rock for another win in the one-up Nitro National Series. And boy, did she have to earn it. Holding off a very close challenge from Alex Vergeparub in this three car. He comes home second. Patrick Smith, third place. Very nice effort from him. He'll have a very nice lead going to Homestead where he can chase the championship there. Dylan Young, after a win last time out, comes home fourth. And Aaron Hall, welcome, a welcome surprise in the top five. Kale Tesco Jr. fell to sixth at the end. Eric Monaco, seventh. Joshua Michaels, Justin Hutchinson, and Ryan Caggiano in his penultimate race get to top 10, just ahead of Elijah Ironhouse. Boy, that was quite, an, quite a close battle. We did not, might, we might not have expected it, honestly, but that's, that's Rockingham, and Autumn Koger has vaulted herself into a very nice championship position. Not as good as Patrick Smith, but she's got a lot of time in Homestead to make up the deficit. Yeah, yeah, I definitely owe an apology to my guys on the three box because they absolutely made the right call at the end of the day there, staying out those two extra laps. I thought it was a foolish move at first because of what we had seen with the fresh tires being so much faster, but Alex Rajeparub, that, that strategy totally worked, brought him back up to second place at the end of the day with some great blocking from the 04, but nobody could beat Autumn Koger, uh, just that 19 car after the pit stop. Uh, once, once she got by that 04 was long gone and, uh, you know, it got close there at the end, but I don't think anybody really had a chance against that 19. Just a, just a great drive from Autumn Koger today from a fourth place starting position to gain as many points as you can in a day that Patrick Smith has a third place finish and some laps led as well. Uh, it, it's really tough to gain a lot of points if you're stuck behind. So, uh, we'll see what has happened, but Autumn Koger has made an attempt and so has Alex for today. So. That was a. We're, we're going to possibly have a good battle going into Homestead, and uh, I, I sure am looking forward to it. So from Drew Ganzak and from myself as well, we say goodbye from Rockingham. We'll see you again for one last time at Homestead Miami Speedway to close out the 2022 season. Congratulations to Autumn Koger on her win, but we're going to have a very interesting battle at Miami on our hands between Patrick Smith and the rest of his challengers. This is going to be a very close one, but... Patrick Smith in the best seat possible. We'll see you again at Miami for one last showdown in the 1UP Nitro National Series.